Hello everyone, welcome to this session. So in this session, we will talk about specifically about the node SDKs. So till now you have understand the basic concept about SDK, why we need to have a SDK and we're going to focus mainly on the Node.js SDK in this training. So when we talk about Node SDK, so these, uh, this SDK bring us two main modules, okay? So you have two main modules which you have to import whenever you use this SDKs before you go and access your uh, chain code functionality from outside. So these are two main modules which I'm showing right now in this slide. The very first one is Fabric Network. So this module help you to access with uh, to access your chain code basically. Okay, so at high level, if you see, this will provide you some high level APIs, which you will use going forward to interact with your network and mainly with your chain code functions. So in case you have to call a chain code function, suppose you have to call a add property uh, chain code function. So this fabric network will help you to achieve that thing. In case you want to query all the properties that can be achieved with the help of this module. All right, so this is help you to do all kind of transactions, all kind of interaction with the deployed chain code. In case you want to add something, query something, all the operation which you have in the chain code, you can access through the, with the help of this very first module. The second module is Fabric CA Client. So again, some changes happen when the Fabric 2.x came into picture because in the earlier version, now we talk about fabric network, right? We used to have a low level API, which is known as fabric client. It is still there, but it is going to be deprecated going forward. So we recommend you to always go and use fabric network instead of fabric client. All right. So second module, which we have is fabric CA client. So now, as you can see, this is named as CA client. So this is how this went handle mainly the interaction with your CA, with your certificate authority. So in case you want to add a new user to your network, in case you want to register a new user, enroll a new user, all kind of things are happened with the help of this module. So, so you can see that because whenever you interact with your network from outside, the very first thing which you have to do that, you need to have a user which has access from outside. So that user has to be enrolled and registered, right? That will be done with the help of the CA client. And then that user will use that fabric network module to interact with your chain code. So high level, these are two main module which you have in your node SDKs. So when we go to the hands-on, you will see that before you start interacting, first of all, you will import these two module in your node project, right? Let's move forward. So then the next point, talk about that, how many classes you have in a fabric network. Again, you will see you have multiple classes under a fabric network module, but this slide talk about that, you have three main classes in a fabric net network module. So the very first class is the gateway. So gateway, again, a very interesting concept and very basic concept which you need to know before you move forward. So whenever a interaction happen from outside to your network, it, it happens with the help of gateway. Okay. So this class will help you to connect with your network. So, so this gateway class is going to use a connection profile. So that connection profile we'll talk about in the upcoming session. For now, just remember that Gateway is a class which will help you to interact with your and connect with your fabric network. And this Gateway uses the connection profile to make this connection because Gateway don't have the information stored to which network it has to connect, right? So somehow it needs some detail to which network it can, it has to connect, to which organization it has to connect and which peer has to, it has to connect. So that details come from a connection profile. And then next two classes are more about wallets and the certificate. So these two classes, which is file system wallet and X509 wallet mix IN, these classes are used to handle the user identities. 
so whenever you interact with a uh, network right you remember till now we have discussed that every user will have its own certificate and its own identity right so you cannot have a user which don't have an identity and it can interact with the network so whenever you enroll or register a new user it will be issued a identity and a certificate then only it can interact with your network so these two classes talk about that only because whenever you write your node.js code you will use these two classes to handle your user identities so this will help you to create the identities and this will also you uh, help you to handle these identities going forward so these are three main classes which we have in a fabric network which will help you to perform all the record operations which we'll see in the hands on right so next module which we have which we already spoken about is fabric ca client module and i will mention that it has mainly two classes it has more but mainly we are talking about two classes only where the first class is registration of user so as i mentioned that first of all before you go and connect with network some user has to be there which is authorized to connect with your network right so that authorization has to be there so that is done with the help of this module so the very first class is registration so this register class will help you to register a new user to a network so suppose you as a new user want to connect with the network so first of all you should get register yourself as a user with the network with the certificate authority so once you do a registration you will get the secret as a response from that registration process all right so now you got registered as a user and you now have a secret which you have got from the network back from a certificate authority now second thing which you will do the enrollment now you got registered now you should be enrolled to access this network and perform all the functions okay so after registration the user has to be enrolled so only registered user will be enrolled okay you cannot be you cannot enroll a new user which is not registered yet so for user to access your network they have to perform two steps one is registration of a user and then second thing is the enrollment of a user so whenever you do a enrollment so the input for enrollment is your secret which you have a, you have got from the previous registration function all right so these two main classes which you will use going forward whenever you connect with the fabric ca client whenever you use a module basically from your side thanks for watching this video in case you want to learn the hyperledger fabric in the detail and you want to become hyperledger fabric developer i would recommend you to go and enroll our course where we cover the hyperledger fabric development with the latest version which is 2.2 in case you want to enroll you can go to the video description where we have the link of the course thanks for watching